If you like sunshine, volunteering, and the smell of fresh fruit, I've got a job for you. It may sound simple, but if you don't pick fruit when it ripens... It's just on the ground. In 2010, Nita Kermans Gilson was walking her dog and spotted... It's like all this citrus is laying on the ground. And did that bother you? Yes. Nita called her friends and family to help her pick the fruit and give it to people in need. Was everybody ready? An idea that grew and grew into a nonprofit called Produce Good. It started with Nita, and now how many volunteers do you have? About 4,000. I know, oh. it's pretty awesome. Way and to produce some good. Exactly. The organization now works with 900 growers across the county. There are people who just have large, like, groves of trees, okay. and they don't know what to do with it. Nita says one in four San Diegans struggles with food insecurity. Lemons, grapefruit, tangerines, tangelos, oranges. So they'll glean whatever you got. Celery, lettuce, tomatoes, squash, onions, plums, pears, peaches. We watched nursing students from USD help deliver this fresh picked lemon harvest. Not only does it feel good, it tastes good too. <laughs> Today's food recipient, the Bayside Community Center. We know that everything is rising, rents, food especially. Where Rose Sabalas says low-income residents in Linda Vista Here, Nicole. depend on food distributions weekly. You know, it makes me feel good that we can do something. Our partnership with Produce Goods has been really fruitful. <laughs> you know, not to say, but... <laughs> and when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, we make ceviche with them. We also put it in practically all of our soups over your guacamole, even in your salsa. Produce Good has stopped 800 tons of food from going to the landfill, and they're not trying to win any beauty contests. We never say um, ugly. We say cosmetically challenged. Add it all up, and that's nearly 2 million pounds of food that Nita couldn't stand to watch rot on the ground. You're a problem solver. Yes, yes, and it was a problem that I just couldn't handle. We're basically just trying to spread the gospel of glean. That's kind of what we do. <laughs> I call that a glean machine. There we go. Ooh, see, you're getting it. In the Zevely Zone. Produce good! Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.